fitness. So our table of contents here. Okay, so this was the reconstruction and industrialization era. This was the result of the end of the Civil War. There was a lot of damage done to the buildings. Due to the damage, the land value dropped and the government had to raise the taxes. There were many casualties due to the war as well. This influenced the development of sport, physical education, and fitness by staying active through working, trying to rebuild the buildings. And during the reconstruction time, there are many people being hired to help rebuild. And this work was physically taxing, which helped the people get into better shape. During 1900 to the end of World War I, the, this was the progressive era and the end of World War I. Fitness was being stressed during this time due to the draft because the men were required to be fit to fight. The Olympics also was adding new sports to provide more entertainment for the people. This influenced the development of sports and physical education and fitness by forcing the people to learn more about physical education through the draft and more people were being influenced by the sports they saw on the Olympics. Okay, so World War I ended in 1918. Um, in 1920, there was a World War II um, that nearly killed 20 million people. Um, in 1929, the U.S. stock market crashed. Um, the men returned from the war and were able to return and focus on their sports and some came back in better shape than before. Other men came back and went to school to continue their education. The men returning um, enabled them to return to sports, resulting in the enlargement of the sport industry. Some men even came back to pursue a degree in physical education to help other athletes. All right, so um, from 1931 to 1950, there was kind of a lot going on in history. Uh, the, to start off, yeah, the Star Signal banner was um, on it in 1931. You had the Labor Standards Act in 38, which um, had the minimum wage at 25 cents, which is obviously very low to us. But um, another big thing was obviously World War II. Um, but before that, in uh, Berlin, Germany in 1936 was actually where the Olympics were held that year. And it's uh, known as the Nazi Olympics because it was ran by Hitler and his regime. So that's when they started to really um, see kind of how bad of a person he was because of his discrimination against the those with colors and the Jewish culture itself. Uh, so World War II actually started in 1939 and it ended at 45. Um, so how did how did this part of the era get that way? You had massive debt in the government, so they had to lower the minimum wage. Um, and then obviously when Germany invaded Poland, France and Britain said that wasn't good. Declared war, and then we had Pearl Harbor in December of 1941, which actively got us involved in World War II. And how did this influence um, the sport and physical education fitness? Obviously, men were being drafted, so we were short of athletes. And a really cool thing about this is, uh, like, when the baseball commissioner called up, you know, the president was like, Chan, should we cancel this? And he said no. So actually, the Cubs manager at that time took a bunch of women and put together, like, a 15-team league at that point in time to help um, draw attention away from the war and obviously not having as many male athletes um, but the, the sport industry did suffer. You, know, you, you lose a lot of people going to fight the war as well as those dying in the war. So that did not help at all. And from 51 to 70, uh, the booming 50s, more chances, kids had more chances to learn physical education and more chances to get involved in sports. Um, the technology also was going up. We were starting to see increases of that after World War II. Um, but then we got back into another war in Vietnam which was uh, fought actually in Vietnam. Basically, it was just us trying to stop the spread of communism. Probably what we shouldn't have even been involved in, but we were. Um, a lot of people died, lost a lot of athletes again. It's like the same thing that just keeps repeating yourself in history. Um, and obviously in the 60s, you had major race conflicts, um, you know, segregation, you had Martin Luther King Jr., all those things that, that tied into kind of, you know, the, the era of the 60s. And obviously at this point in time, it's influencing sports in a negative and a positive way because at this time you started to see more, more African-American males stepping up, creating their own leagues. And you know, you had the, you know, the Negro Leagues, 
obviously, and you have Jackie Robinson, obviously, was a huge um, influencer in that as well. Um, but it did have a, a rather negative impact on not just the sports industry, but the whole entire world, or the whole entire country as a whole. And obviously, with the Vietnam War, just losing a lot of athletes. Um, so from 1971 to present day, um, new technology and content construction. Uh, due to new technology sports, physical education, and fitness, had new ways of finding specialized plans for vacations with students. New careers and jobs as well as schools. Due to new careers and schools, there are more people working with fields of sports, physical education, and fitness. Um, it influenced the development of sport, physical education, and fitness in the era by with the new technology, we were able to prom promote fitness more every day throughout social media. With a steady economy, and uh, we have been able to thrive in the field of sports as well. Um, new technology to enable us to learn more about our clients. Uh, a little thing here. All done.